welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I spend a little bit of time to answer your scuba diving questions that you send in. So if you have any scuba diving questions, then pop them down in the comments section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured. Today I'm answering a question from Lucas Maldonado about why technical divers carry lift bags instead of DSMBs. So Lucas says, why technical divers carry lift bags instead of DSMB? Thanks in advance, Lucas. So yes, lift bags have multiple functions and they're arguably more functional than a simple DSMB. A DSMB can be used as a marker buoy and add a little bit of buoyancy should your BCD fail. However, a lift bag will have far more buoyancy and will also be able to lift salvage. So. It's more about like redundancy or redundancy is probably not the best word. Um, like mul yeah, multi-functionality because if you have a DSMB, uh, just a DSMB, you will probably get, I don't know, maybe five kilos of lift out of that. And if you're in a situation where your BCD fails for whatever reason and you need something to maintain buoyancy, you can, you can use that to just inflate it a bit and hold on to it, and then you can control your buoyancy. But with a lift bag, lift bags like start at 25 kilos and they only go up and up and up. Um, so, but they'll also act as a surface marker buoy. So it's kind of a trade-off because a, a lift bag is, is more multifunctional for the diver if they're in trouble and if they do come across something that they do want to salvage then yeah they can just attach it and then send that up to the surface with the lift bag you won't be able to do that with a dsmb unless it's something relatively small in which case you could just pick it up um, so it's more about that like multifunctionality. should something go wrong with your bcd or your dry suit or whatever it is and you need to attain more positive buoyancy then a DSMB just ain't gonna cut it, but a lift bag certainly will. And if you do want to just, yeah, tell the surface that you're coming up, then yeah, you can just inflate your, your lift bag, attach it onto a, a reel, do that first, then send it up, and then it will act as a surface marker buoy to let the boat know or whatever it is that, yeah, someone's here, please stay away. So it's more about being multi-purpose. If you have to carry one of them, then it makes more sense to carry the lift bag instead of the DSMB. But realistically, they'll probably carry a lift bag. <clears throat> Some of them, you, you put them in like a, a pouch that sits at like the bottom of your back plate. If you look at a lot of the, um, uh, the back pads that go on back plates, they'll have a little pouch, like a spring pouch in the lower quarters that just kind of goes over your kidneys. That's ideally so that you can stow like a lift bag away in there. Um, so they'll have one, but they'll also have a DSMB, probably in a pocket or something, and then to actually tell the surface that they're ascending, then they send up a, a DSMB because it's just easier. DSMBs are designed to be just, yeah, sent up as a surface marker buoy. Uh, so the inflator nozzle, it'll either be orally inflate or you'll have that, uh, that kind of nozzle. Um, I mean, you might get like open-ended ones, but I tend to prefer closed cell ones. And yeah, they're, they're, they're all designed to be seen in the water. Because yeah, as I said, a lift bag, when it's on the surface, it's just, you only really see the top section. It, it won't stick up out of the water like a actual DSMB will do. Um, so yeah, you're a bit more visible with a full-on DSMB. Um, but yeah, most divers will carry both. But if you had to choose between the two, I'd go for the lift bag just because it's got a bit more, a bit more purpose to it. Mm -hmm. 